Marshall. Sacked it. Uh, Roy Keane has lit the fuse here and a real explosion of emotion. One or two Manchester United players, notably Irwin, believing that Southgate made more of that than was necessary. Southgate seemed to me to expect Keane to go over the top. Uh, and the when the players have even more responsibility to set the right example. And in the heat of the battle, Crystal Palace seeing the semi-final ebbing away. Roy Keane, for whom every contest is a top tie, but he's off. Keane is sent off. It was last season. Oh dear me, that's not a tackle, that's a fist. That's Roy Keane swinging. Red card, Keane's off. Keane is off. And yellow card. Again, heading for the corner. And the 3 0 win. And Roy Keane gets a red card again. Manchester United going down with the wrong sort of fight. I don't know why, but Keane threw the ball at Shearer. That started it. And he goes off. Once more with head bowed, one hopes in shame. Oh, Roy Keane on Holland. David Ellery has a record of dismissing Roy Keane from the field of play. It's a red card. He's reaching for his pocket again, and it's Roy Keane's second yellow, and he's off. And the protests may land one or two other Manchester United players in trouble, most notably Andy Cole, who really flew off the handle as Stephen Lodge produced the red card. It seems that Manchester United have not learnt their lesson. Let's go. Yeah, might, might go and slap for a minute. Roy Keen. Und Eta. Zweikampf. Meketier gegen Roy Keen. Und jetzt wird's giftig. Explosionsgefahr bei zwei Iren. Hintergrund ist die spektakuläre Abreise von Kapitän Keen bei der Weltmeisterschaft in Japan. Die verbliebenen Nationalspieler stellten sich damals hinter Trainer Mick McCarthy. Der Anführer neben Nalquin, Jason McAteer. Das Verhältnis der beiden seitdem fast schon Hass. Die Aktion allerdings unnötig von McAteer. Und dann gab es noch Mätzchen und weitere Anspielungen. Auch auf die umstrittene Autobiografie von Roy Keane. 